What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, bringing you a brief video tonight. Tonight, as you know how this channel works, there's a new insider dev channel build. It is build 21332 or 21332 and it actually changes a few things. Um, one thing that you're gonna notice right off the bat you see in the change log here, what's new in build 21332 is an update on the rollout of news and interest. Um, as you know, uh, news and interest is in limited release for people in the dev channel. I do have it, but it's very strange for me and I saw this on Windows Weekly as well where for some reason some things in my computer and some other people's computer just disappear and then reappear suddenly it's very strange so for example news and interest uh isn't here on my computer again even though it was just in it like last build the last build it hasn't been taken out it's still in there um but it's just yeah so it says here as a result since by default uh it will open via hover or click based on feedback it'll also be introducing option to uh, open via click only in a coming update as a result of these changes we've resetted the rollout of news and interests in the dev channel this means users who previously had news and interests enabled on their task bars may see it go away don't worry we hope to make news and interests available for uh, everyone in the dev channel soon so what I was saying where it kind of disappears sometimes, it comes back together and disappears suddenly. Uh, at first I thought it was a problem with my own computer, but actually uh, they took it away and they kind of reset the rollout of it um, to, to introduce some new features. I don't know why that's kind of needed uh, to reset the reason of having everyone have it. Um, but so I don't have it anymore. But another thing they did add with it was they allowed the ability to have uh, dual pane. So if you see in the screenshot, you'll see in front of you uh, how I have a giant monitor and yet I only have had one row or one column of stuff showing up on using interest. I have a, I'm probably the largest monitor of most people who own a PC, like one the largest continuous monitor. Um, and yet I only had that tiny little snippet of news and interest on the side of the right side of my screen. It's kind of strange. So they're addressing that and it says that, uh, it says landed on what we believe to be the best experience for customers. The interest file experience will show two columns of content, making it easier to glance over your feed of weather, headlines, money, and more. So that's the major highlight feature of this build overall. There are some minor things out, um, but it says it's pretty much going to re-trickle out to people in the dev channel again in the future, probably starting the next build. Um, it says changes and improvements. As you know, when I go through these apps, uh, go through these rather, these uh, these dev channel updates uh, for Windows 10, these new builds, uh, I don't cover every change and improvement. Otherwise, the video would be like eight hours long and I'm not about to do all of that. No one's going to watch all that. But the highlight feature is it says our new option to paste as plain text from the clipboard history. Windows key V is now rolling out to all insiders in the dev channel. So for example, Windows key V, it says placed as plain text. So if you want to do that, you could do that. Obviously these are pictures, so you can't do that, but that is an option to do that. Uh, it says theme aware splash screens have been re-enabled for everyone in the dev channel in this build. So if you have an app that's opening up and it has theme aware splash screens before it would just show up as your default windows color now it's theme aware and it'll automatically show up as your windows color of choice it won't just be a blue color or whatever color um it says here 3d viewer and paint 3d is no longer pre-installed on clean installs of windows insider builds both apps will still be available in this in the store and will stay on your device after an os update so for example Right now, this is technically not a clean in store because I just updated to it, but you can see 3D, Paint 3D does not show up. Let's say if I type in Paint 3D and see if it'll show up. Let's go back in, Paint 3D. Paint 3D is gone now. So before, you'll see a screenshot right now that uh, when I typed in Paint 3D or just 3D, you would see Paint 3D pop up. It's now been pretty much uninstalled now. It's not gonna be pre-installed on uh, this build going forward. So that's nice. They're kind of cleaning up some of the stuff that isn't being used. Speaking of another thing that isn't being used and pretty much was never being used is the math input panel. So again, another thing where if I press the Windows key and I type in math, you can see it doesn't appear. It just says path of building, whatever that is. Um, math input panel, you'll see a screenshot of that on my previous build uh, of how it looks like. And uh, it the icon or the application pretty much looked like Windows 7 
but like Windows 7 or even Windows Vista, it kind of felt like, but it looked like Windows 7 without even the arrow theme with it. So it was kind of strange. So they got rid of it because uh, no one was using it. Like barely anyone was using it anymore. Um, they probably just used like, they probably just used their smartphones with Microsoft Math and other things. But it says here, uh, the feature can be installed via settings, apps, apps and features and clicking optional features. But the app will no longer be there by default. Um, the features it enabled, the math input for OneNote, Excel, and, and elsewhere will continue to work. Um, so developers can add the feature in, and you can download it separately, but it's not going to be installed on your PC by default, which is really nice. Less default crap, the better, in my opinion. So there's some fixes here. It says, fix an issue where Surface Pro 10 devices would bug check, bug check when resuming from sleep. Fix an issue where we're experiencing when Xbox controllers hang when connected while shut down. Um, it says fix an issue about the uh, leading to the about page of settings not being present in a previous flight. So that's a fix. So one thing you're going to see here, I'm going to go to settings. Let's take a look if we can find about. I don't see about off the top of my head. System and now about is back. So in the last build that I was looking at, um, we didn't have this option anymore. This option was gone for a little bit. They're fixing some major issues with it. It's back now, so you can see 32 gigs of RAM, Ryzen 7 1800X. You can see all that information there finally. And going more, you can see it says, we fix an issue if you go to settings, system, power, sleep, it will crash with, for some insiders. I never had that issue because I never went there, and this is a desktop PC, so I don't actually ever use any battery since there is no battery in a desktop PC. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other things here. It says a bug affecting GPU compute support on Windows subsystem for Linux. Um, you can see it on GitHub. If you still have a TV tuner on your PC somehow, they fix an issue where TV tuners were not working. Uh, they fix an issue where you could result in your PC bug checking when renaming a file folder on an SD card. I again never use that because I just preset my files and folders and I just use them how they are. And then a feature with, uh, they fix an issue where devices running Trend Micro software may randomly bug check. So there are also some known features. I didn't go through all of the uh, fixes, but there are some known features. And there's a bunch of things about news and interests here, such as sometimes news and interests could not be dismissed with a pen. ARM64, the same issue again with the Adreno graphics driver may experience reduced brightness. That's been on pretty much every build for like the past like three builds alone. Um, they fixed an issue. We're working on a fix for an issue where uh, some devices, the Realtek network running driver version 1.0.04, uh, may experience intermittent loss of network connectivity. I, I forgot. I don't remember if I'm running that, but um, I know I've had some interruptions in my network, that's for sure. And then they're experiencing, they're investigating an issue where on some high refresh rate monitors, games can only run at 60 hertz. Variable refresh rate monitor scenarios may also result in tearing. So for example, this monitor is technically 120 hertz and it is running at 120 hertz and it's overclocked to 144 hertz. Um, so I haven't actually noticed anything wrong, honestly, because this is such an old graphics card, but it's good to know that they're looking into that. So they have a bunch of other things there. But overall, yeah, that is the change log for Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 21332. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys see any issues yourselves, I'm just curious uh, what you guys think of uh, this current build that just came out. And let me know if also if you no longer have your news and interest pane or if you even used it when it was out. All in the comments section below. My name is Kwaku and stay tuned for Thursday, I believe. Yep, that's tomorrow. Thursday's video as well as an app review.